Hi, I'm Kat Navarro with IDA TV, and I'm here with the artist of Superbia. This is Russell Dodderman, Hello. and hi, thank you for being with us, Russell. Thanks for having me. And I would like to just know a little bit about this cool comic. Like, first, I was really intrigued because it was a bunch of chicks on the cover. Yeah. So I was like, what is this about? And somebody told me that it's desperate housewives meet superheroes. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a really great way to describe it. It's, um, it's about if all the superheroes lived in the same subdivision, and then it's about their significant others, so their spouses, their kids, their boyfriends, girlfriends. And you get some of the superhero action of like mainstream superhero books, but it's really about the drama that goes on in day-to-day -day life, and it's very much a soap opera, but soap opera with superheroes is what I say. Soap opera with superheroes, love it. How did you become an artist for this? Uh, for this specifically, you know, I'd, I'd been trying to really break into comics for a while and um, this is my first big thing and I, I walked up to Boom at a, a convention a few years ago, gave my samples, met an editor and um, what, two months later I had the, the gig, I did a test page and, and that was it. Uh, Surreal. Yeah, I know. I, I couldn't. I couldn't believe that was happening. But, um, but yeah, the, the what you're holding is the mini series that came out last year. It was a forestry mini series, and that was my first big deal comic book gig. And uh, the response was so good that uh, at the end of the month in November, we're launching it as an ongoing series. So actually, this uh, at Long Beach Comic Con, we're debuting the issue number one of the ongoing, and you can get an exclusive cover of it here two weeks before it goes on sale. Well, I love your story about how you got into this. Do you have any advice for anybody who wants to, you know, become an artist like you? How do they, what if they're not brave enough to just walk up to someone and give their stuff? What do you suggest they do? Um, well, first of all, I am not one of those people who are brave enough to do that, but I forced myself to. Awesome. And, you know, I, I spent a few years doing the convention circuit and, you know, dropping stuff off at companies and trying to talk to editors. And the best part about that is you get feedback and you can improve. And a lot of the conventions have um, portfolio reviews where you actually have a specific time and you can meet with an editor face to face and get your work reviewed. And that was a really great way to improve and to meet people. So I definitely suggest that if you can get to a con to do it. So it sounds like the key is being proactive and just persisting throughout all of this, throughout, you know, rejection maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a lot of rejection and, and also just keep drawing, like draw, draw, draw and that you're going to get better and people will notice if your stuff's good enough, I think. That is amazing. I love hearing stories like that. So awesome. Thank you so much, Russell. And I'm Kat Navarro with ID8 TV. Thank you.